of this video is to share with you the differences between scan tools out there. Notice here we can get very, very precise in terms of what we want. Currently I'm on the 2008 Sprinter. I'm only going to take a look at the diesel uh, system right now. However, as you notice here, there are a whole lot of other systems we can scan. All right, I've got into the vehicle. I can take a look at the travel codes here, of course. Now, notice these are uh, manufacturer-specific travel codes, so that you won't really get a whole lot of P codes and U codes here. Just wanted to show you first the various options we have here. We do have, of course, certain tests or component activations. We can shut off individual injectors at one time just to test the way they work. More useful, however, I think, is the uh, component activations we can do. We can go to adjustments here, and we can well, we can do a whole lot of things. Remove speed limiters, diesel particulate filter regenerations, two different options for that. Injector programming, which is a big one. Resetting adaptations, uh, rail pressure control. Again, just a whole lot of very, very useful um, aspects and tests, which really allow you to assess what is going wrong with your vehicle and when it's occurring. Let's go back to the fault codes. And just as an example here, the only time we really see these unknown fault codes is when something is unplugged and we have what's called a can, a CAN bus resonance. So whenever you see these odd codes like this, um, that's usually a clear indication of some sort of electrical issue or usually an issue with um, just a plug um, being unplugged. Another good point I want to mention for these older NCV3s, that is the 2007 to the 2009 uh, USA model year, in that you'll never be stranded due to emissions issues, in that um, if you have an issue with the EGR valve, you can just unplug the electrical component on the EGR valve, and that will usually take you home simply because um, the EGR valve will always be shut so you won't have any issues with excessive back pressure. If you have an issue with the DPF filter, you can simply pull it right out and drive on home even if it's 10,000 miles away. Again, I hope you found this helpful. The goal of this channel overall is to give you the ability to do your own repairs. Um, I can't tell you how many times I've come to customers and they show me over 10 grand worth of repairs, which a lot of it sometimes is not necessary. So I'm hoping this will save you money, save you time, and most importantly, will allow you to take your van out to Alaska if you want to and not have to worry, ever worry about breaking down just because you know your vehicle and you know how to diagnose the issue.